Recently, we were invited to the CCM factory in Bolton to take a look at their prototype Classic Tracker. Now, before we get on to our impressions of the bike, just a little background information. CCM were originally a dirt bike manufacturer before moving into adventure bikes, and now the staple of their range are more scrambler type bikes based on their previous model, the Spitfire. They do the CCM Maverick, the Six, the Bobber, the soon-to-be Classic Tracker, and so on, all based on the Spitfire. They also all use the same chassis, but with a different subframe, and they use the same 600 single-cylinder Husqvarna engine. Now, I need to reiterate that the bike that we saw is still a prototype, but we're only a few months away from manufacturing, so we can be fairly confident that what we saw is what you would get should you place an order. And the first thing to say is, they do look fantastic. One of the little things that I like is that you can essentially play a game of spot the Union Jack or spot the Spitfire, as there are so many little nods to each one dotted around the bikes. And that's before you even start adding additional accessories like the leather tankini. That's right, I said tankini, not mankini. That's something very different. Each of these bikes still retains the feel of a company that got its start in dirt bikes, even if there is more chrome than there would have been in those days. But for some people, that might actually turn them off. There may be questions of build quality, as some areas do feel a bit flimsy. But again, for some, that might also bring a certain amount of appeal, because it's a relatively simple machine, which you could probably work on yourself. Now, obviously, being a prototype, we weren't able to ride this thing just yet. Had we done so, we could have had another opportunity to moan about the fact that it's keyless ignition, but that'll have to wait. One thing that's different about the Classic Tracker compared to the Maverick, for example, is that the Maverick has LED brake lights that are built into the subframe, which I actually quite like the look of, but with the Tracker, there's not quite enough room for that. So the brake lights, so I'm told, are now gonna be integrated into the indicators, with only three LEDs for the indicator and four for the brake lights, which, when on a bike, I'm not really a fan of making it harder for other road users to see in lowered visibility. But one big advantage of a bike like this is that there's a fair amount of customization that comes along with it. As mentioned, it's a bike that you could probably work on yourself, but even down to factory options like having handlebar mirrors, which do actually work, or upgrading to ones that can be adjusted to go above or below the handlebars. And I don't know if this is just because it was a prototype or whether it'll be on the final bike, but it looks like you could also add some more traditional mirrors if you wished. So there is actually a lot that you could do with this bike to make it your own or just upgrade it in general. Couple all this with the fact that CCM have outsourced a lot of the parts where it makes sense to do so, like the Husqvarna engine, Brembo brakes and Hell brake lines, you end up with a pretty decent package, even in standard form. Which you'd hope, because obviously being a small company, CCM can't exactly price their bikes like they're going to sell in the millions. So for what you get, it's not that cheap. For the Classic Tracker, you're looking at between 10.5 and 11.5 grand, depending on which trim you choose. And whichever way you look at it, that's a lot of money for not a lot of bike. But also, at the end of the day, you are going to be getting something more exclusive than what most people on the road have, and CCM certainly aren't struggling to sell any of their bikes. So, I'll be looking forward to the end of the year, where I can hopefully throw my leg over a production model and take it out and see how it feels. But until then, I will see you next time.